Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I'm coming to you here from the Flow Center or the Prayer and Evangelism Center here in Clarksdorp, South Africa. Eileen Alston just sent me something crazy. There's something called the, the mystery of the Clarksdorp spheres. These are balls with three stripes. I don't know what it is. Go and look it up. Go and Google it. It's crazy. But here from Clarkstorp, there's all kinds of funny things coming out of the ground that the scientists cannot explain. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Maybe, maybe some pre-Adamic civilization lived here or something. I don't know. But it was deep on the ground. And they, bought, they got these spheres, these balls with three stripes through, going through the middle. Anyway, I just thought that was uh, interesting. While the people are joining. Guys, if you're watching the rerun, pray with me today. We're going to pray in tongues. And we're going to take our victory, freedom from bondage. In Jesus' mighty name. So bless you. Thank you for joining. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Everywhere, from all over the world, people are watching. We're going to continue to pray in tongues for an hour today. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. We're going to pray in tongues for an hour today. And we're going to pray especially for freedom from bondage. Freedom from addiction. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help us pray, to set us free from chains, from yokes, that the anointing will destroy yokes from all limitation, anything that has held you back, anything that has limited you and postponed you and caused delay in your life, anything that is causing bondage, any prison doors, any gates that shut, any closed doors, any bondage and imprisonment, that spirit of bondage is broken today in the name of Jesus over your life, over your family, or your household, your business, your finances, every area of your life, your marriage, your relationships, everything, spirit, soul, and body. Amen. David Dean, Christelle, bless you guys. Thank you for joining today. Dikeledi, bless you. Riga Zakata Kalabab from Bloemfontein, City of Roses. Amen. Morning from Cape Town. Freedom from addiction, Jacqueline, amen. Salumi Pretorius, bless you. Vessel duplicity and bad habits from Stellenbosch. Vessel duplicity, man, bless you. You are, man, you're so on fire for God. Vessel, bless you. Bless you and Ilzali, bless you guys. Rabba Gazekete. Praise the Lord. Sir, while the people are joining, Father, Lord, we invite you into this broadcast and we plead the blood of Jesus over the broadcast of every person that's watching, Lord. Lord, we're going to take on some strongholds and some demons and some things that doesn't want to let go of your children today. So I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will help us to pray. Help us, Lord, to pray prayers that, that will move us out from bondage, out from being stuck out of the rut in the name of Jesus. We pray that there will be an anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroys the yoke today. Cover every person with your precious blood, Lord. Lord, protect us from any demonic influences or oppression, Lord, or any retaliation of the devil. Lord, we render the works of the devil and his assignments and his agents useless, insignificant, powerless, and ineffective against us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, Father, fill us with your joy. Fill us with your glory. We declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God has come, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Get yourself some communion elements ready. We're going to have communion. I've got some anointing oil here. We're going to pray. I'm going to pray in tongues. I've got some scriptures printed out here. You don't have to get your Bible today. I've got a few scriptures printed out here. We're going to read it and we're going to stand in faith. But the default is tongues. So Holy Spirit, help us pray. Against all forms of bondage, any limitation, any chain, anything that's held us back, anything that's held us captive, the captivity is turning today in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> we thank you, Holy Spirit. Zagra basically, let's pray in tongues. If you can't pray in tongues, pray in the understanding. Pray in the understanding, pray in the tongues. Father, we come against all witchcraft, all bondage, all yokes, all destructive forces, all enemies, Lord, that has come against the children of God, that has kept the church of Jesus Christ in any form of bondage. Help us pray, Holy Spirit. Father, we 
El do rudo bushi kraba gazi kiti piki tiri di vidiri. Rum braga da galarada bakata. Any form of bondage that has held you back. Anything that has limited you. Anything that has caused you. Delay upon delay and postponement upon postponement is being released from your life today. We cut it off. We plead the blood of Jesus against any, any captivity, spirit of captivity, any spirit of bondage, any spirit of imprisonment. We plead the blood of Jesus against you, Satan. We command you to loose the people of God watching on this broadcast right now. Rabba kateli begidi. Gebre gezikitara dabagajaka. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The kingdoms of the darkness is tumbling down. It's crumbling down. We subdue it underneath the feet of Jesus. We trample upon the scorpions and the adders and the demons and the dragons. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over our spirit, our soul, and our body. We plead the blood of Jesus over our past, our present, our future. The work of our hands, our property and our possessions, their robots, our health, Lord, our lifetime, Lord, our finances, Lord, the work of our hands, Lord, our sphere of influence, our relationships, Lord, our families, Lord. You guys pray in tongues with me. This is the purpose. We're praying in tongues together. This is a virtual prayer meeting. Karde zaga brogu. Rege zaga teke deli ribe gijata na namantu. Rende ribe vige deli ribe sobram. Re bra ba 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 jeke teke te seke te levente. Come and win our hearts, Lord. Come and set the captives free. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. The streams in the south. Let the rivers of living water flow, Lord. Cleanse us, purify us, and set us free from captivity, Lord. Remove all the little foxes that spoil the vine. We make our petitions known. The throne room of grace, Lord. With thanksgiving, Lord. By the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and the leading of the Spirit of God. Let your anointing destroy every yoke, Lord. Lord, set the captives free. Your word declares that it was for freedom that Christ has set us free. That this, whom the Son sets free is free indeed, Lord. Where the Spirit of the Lord down, the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Lord, liberty in our finances. Liberty, Lord, we lib Lord, we liberate our finances. We liberate our bank accounts. We liberate our incomes, our streams of incomes. We liberate our minds. We liberate our souls. From captivity and bondage. From strongholds, Lord. From wrong doctrines, Lord. From doctrines of devils and vain imaginations and high things that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We liberate our souls today in the name of Jesus. Help us pray, Holy Spirit. Is Gary Bikitiria Cotelebe, Ronga Saka Peca Telo Bordo, Raga Zikitere de Vede Vere de Vishatum, Engo Soco Tocobro, Raba Baba Bale Rebicitere de Vegetere de Vishatum, Ezandele de Vicetere de Ve, Lord set us free, bring freedom. Oh God, I see a new day, I see a new day, a new sunrise, a new dawn. Oh, how many people did I prophesy this over yesterday? I see a, a new day. God says it's morning because joy comes in the morning. He says joy comes in the morning. Shaga It is morning. It is morning. I see the sunrise. I see a new day of exploration, of enjoying, of stability, of being free, of living in your freedom, freedom from bondage, freedom from captivity. The Lord turns our captivity today in the name of Jesus. You might have been struggling to get out and you didn't know what was hindering your life, but every spirit of hindrance, every spirit of opposition, every spirit that has been keeping you blocked in, driving you into a corner, every spirit that has been trying to, every communistic, socialistic, Marxist demon that's been trying to manipulate and intimidate and control you, we bind it with the blood of Jesus. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. We're coming against that spirit of manipulation. That spirit that wants to control everything. That usurper. We come against that usurping spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, 
We relinquish control over into the hands of the Holy Spirit. We yield control. We give you consent. We allow you. We permit you, Lord. We surrender to you. We yield for, to you, Lord. We, we long for you, Lord. We yearn for you, Lord. Lord, set the captives free today. Let the anointing destroy the earth. I've got some anointing oil here. In fact, I'm going to just anoint the camera lens right now. And I believe that the anointing is transferable and the, you, there can be an impartation through this camera lens because the Holy Spirit is right there with you. He's all over, everywhere at the same time. Omnipresent. Amen. Omnipotent. Omniscient. Omnipotent. Omnipresent. Amen. Robo zaga daga la baga zeke pakata. Rege zeke te ri divi 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 tregi shoku taka baga rabaka zeke te bless you from India. Zondolo rodobo zeke te I set you free from India. Bless you in Jesus name. I take some oil today father. The oil of the joy of the Holy Spirit. The oil of the balm of Gilead, the oil of the comfort of holiness. Lord, people have been sitting in sin, in bad habits and in addictions. Father, you are fighting for us. Lord, you are not against us. Lord, you didn't come to condemn the world, but to save sinners. There's people that has idolized things. You are stuck and you are captive. You are held in bondage and captivity with idolatry and things in your life that you are idolizing and you're worshiping and things that have become a priority in your life that you have placed above your relationship with God. God is bringing you freedom from captivity. Satan has been kept captivating. He's been holding you in prison. He's been holding you for a ransom. He's been holding you. He's abducted you. He's kidnapped you. He's holding you imprisoned. I see this in the spirit that the Lord in those areas, the Lord is setting you free. The Lord is for you. He's fighting for you. He's on your side. And He's setting you free from your own flesh. And today is no joke. Today is a prayer in front of the Almighty God. And we're petitioning the Almighty God, the Father of creation. The God of heaven, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, sets you free today. For the deliverance from demonic oppression and influence, demonic possession. Deliverance from curses. Lord, I anoint the screen. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroys the yoke. In the name of Jesus. Raga You go and get yourself some oil, some olive oil preferably. Anoint your hand and put it on your forehead. And just anoint your head with oil. Just rub it in. Rub it in. It's no, don't be civilized about it. Get oil on your head. Go and get yourself some oil somewhere. Even if you watch the rerun tonight, go and get yourself some oil. Get yourself a bottle of oil and anoint your head with oil. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit shall destroy the yokes. In the name of Jesus, yokes is falling off of you. Yokes, years, years of bondage, years of captivity, years of imprisonment is falling off of you. The dungeons are opening up. The prison doors are being kicked open. It breaks the chains. Off of your children. Father, hear our cry today. Help us pray, Holy Spirit. Numbers thirty-three, verse three says the following: the the latter part of it, the the last part of it. It says, "On the day after Passover, the children of Israel went out with boldness." In the sight of all the Egyptians. Ah! The children of Israel went out with boldness in the sight of all the Egyptians. God says that you're coming out with boldness in the, Zekete, in the sight of all your captives, captors, all those slave masters, those slave drivers, those, what do you call it? Ranga, those slavers. Arda pakati la baba baba robo kupakata la baga 
Panga In the sight of them all, he's parading you out with boldness. He's leading you out. He's taking you by the hand. He's leading you out and the prison doors are swinging open. And some of you have been stuck in a prison of your own making. In your own mind, you have made a prison and you can't even laugh out loud and you can't dance and you can't enjoy life. You can't lift up your head. You have been, in, you have been intimidated. You have been manipulated. You have been brainwashed. You have been bombarded with propaganda. You've been listening to the voice of the strangers. You are sitting in a prison. You can't even enjoy life. God says He's bringing you out. Deliverance is yours by the blood of the Lamb of God. Zodo Robo Kipa. Elebere Deve. You're coming out with boldness. You continue to pray in tongues while I'm doing this. Yeah, Numbers 33.3. Sheda Rabababalara. Exodus 12. Verse 40 to 42. Talking also about they, they were in bondage for a long time. 430 years. And then. It came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. It's, it says on the very same day. At, and it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, on that very same day, it came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out of the, of the land of Egypt. On that very same day, after 430 years. God says to you, that the time of your captivity is accomplished just like Daniel of Reboko Sokoto saw in the scriptures. They were in captivity and they saw in the scriptures that the time of 70 years captivity has ended and Daniel started praying and God sent the angels. And when Daniel prayed and fasted, the Lord turned their captivity and Psalm 126, 127, 128 says, when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. Get ready to be like them that dream. Oh, then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Turn again our captivity like streams in the Negev, streams in the south. Let the streams be turned. Start praying in tongues. Ba, 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 ra. The Lord says the streams are turning. The streams are turning. And after the captivity was ended, Daniel prayed and the Lord brought them out. And that God says that the time of your captivity is fulfilled. It is time for restoration. It's time to come out. And God says that on that very same day, Exodus 12, verse 40 to 42. And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, on that very same day, it came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. God brought them out with a strong arm. Let's go to Exodus 13. Remember this day. This is what Moses says to the people. Remember this day in which you went out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out of this place. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out of this place. Remember this day that the Lord is bringing you out. God says you're going through the, as if you are going through the waters of baptism again. As if you are passing through this Red Sea that split open again. As if you are passing through the Jordan that split open. As if you are passing through the pool of Bethesda. As if you are passing through the clouds in the heavens and the fountains of the deep. As if you are going through a baptism into the new it will be like the days of Noah. The open, the, on the same day, the windows of heaven opened up and released the abundance of the heavens. The water started raining. And it says the fountains of the deep were broken up. And they passed through between the firmaments. Between the sea and the firmament and the, the waters in the heavens. They passed through. It was a baptism. And And they went into a new world. The world as they knew it was wiped away by water. But God promised He's not going to do it by water again. But this time by fire. And the God says He's baptizing you by fire. He's baptizing you with the cloven tongues as a fire. Passing through between the fire. Though you go through the flames and the fire shall not scorch you. In other words, you are again being baptized by fire. And God is setting you free today by fire. In Jesus name. The fire of God is coming against every demon. Every tempter. Every demon. Every deception. Every stronghold. Every lie of the devil. Every issue. All 
what do you call it, Raba, Lebedebede, Riki, so complexes. You're walking around with complexes. Aga Daga Jekete has been imprisoning you for since childhood. It's coming out of you now in the name of Jesus by the hand of God. Remember this day because God is bringing you out by a strong arm. By the strong hand of God, He's bringing you out of bondage and captivity. In the name of Jesus, whatever has been hindering your finances, whatever has been hindering your relationships, your marriage, what has been hindering you to get children, that spirit of barrenness, that spirit of barrenness is losing your life. In the name of Jesus today, I call the fire of God against the works of the devil, against every curse, against every hex and spell, against every word of the of witches and warlocks and agents of Satan against every critical, condemning, judgmental, accusing word that has been spoken even by people in the church, even by people in authority, in leadership in the church. There has been pastors, there's been evangelists, there's been prophets that spoke against you. They were not speaking the word of God, but they were people of authority and they spoke against you and they bound you with their words. I set you free. In the name of Jesus, remember this day. Because by the hand, the strong hand of God is setting you free. Your ministry is about to be launched. Your ministry is about to soar. You're about to rise up and mount up on eagle's wings. In Jesus' name. Every saint that has criticized you and has judged you and has spoken ill of you and gossiped about you behind your back, they weren't there. They didn't pray with you. They just had something to say. I loose you from their grip. I loose you from those words. In the name of Jesus, let's pray in tongues. La Pakasa, this is the word of the Lord. It's not me, man. God is saying it. Shaka de Bogdoro, Ragadaligida, Rene Nende, Sete Rene 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 On that same day, Lord, we will remember this day. What? What's the day today? What's it, the 23rd? Yep. The 23rd of September. Do you remember the 23rd day of September? <laughs> Isn't there a song like that? Do you remember the 23rd day of September? No, oh, there's not a song like that, but there is one now. Do you remember the 23rd day of September when God set you free by a strong hand? And I say to you that every devil that's been keeping you in oppression, that's been manipulating you, every hex, every powerful demon every prince of the powers of the air no matter what even if it's satan himself even if it's the gates of hell itself it shall not prevail against you it's not coming through this fire it will not survive the fire of god that sets you free today in the name of jesus today he's severing you he's bringing a separation he's separating you from the old life he's bringing a division he's separating you there is a cut by the sword of the lord that separate it divides asunder Today in the name of Jesus, Zaba Rabakata, pray in tongues for your deliverance today. Let's, it's the victory of the finished work of the cross of Calvary. But we must manifest it and we release it. We give birth to it. We will see it tangibly. It is already available. Now we say, thank you, Lord, the sickness and the disease that's been tormenting you, that you've been a captive in your own body, that you were stuck in a wheelchair, that you've been stuck in a, a body that cannot see, that cannot hear, that, that's feeling pain. You're in prison with pain. God says that He's cutting it off of your life by the fiery sword of the Lord. Today in the name of Jesus. And this was, this was um, what He said in Exodus 13 verse 8 to 9. And you shall tell your son in that day and saying this is done because of what the Lord did for me when I came up from Egypt it shall be a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes and the Lord Lord's law may be in your mouth for a strong hand for with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt and so Lord, the Lord basically instituted this Passover meal and the Passover was a type and a shadow of things to come and now we have communion so get yourselves your, your communion table elements, the communion elements of the Lord, the body and the blood of Jesus. We're going to celebrate your freedom and your deliverance and your freedom from captivity. The Lord is turning your captivity around today. We're going to celebrate. You remember when the Passover was instigated and started? It was there where the Lord delivered the children of Israel out of the bondage 430 years. 
out of the bondage from the Egyptians that has enslaved them. God is bringing you out of bondage today. We're going to take communion now. We're going to celebrate. And the Lord says on that same day, He's bringing you out with a strong arm, a strong hand. Amen. 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7 to 8. Listen to this. Therefore purge out the old leaven. This is the word of the Lord. He says that the old is passed away and the new has come. You're baptized with fire and you're going through it and the wood, the hay and the stubble is burned up and you will come forth as pure gold. You will be refined in the fire. Of His love. Glory. Receive the love of God. Don't, don't resist it. Please don't resist it. Please don't resist it. Rebekah he says, therefore purge out the old leaven. God is bringing deliverance from bondage. He's bringing you freedom from captivity today in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bondage that's been holding you captive. I curse it to the root and I command it in Jesus' name to loose you and let you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this prayer be heard. Let this prayer be heard in the throne room of grace today. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray on the basis of the blood of the Lamb that was shed for us. Reba Sakata. Lord, purge us out. Purge out the old leaven. That we may be a new lump, Lord. He says, yes, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. What feast? This is 1 Corinthians. This is the New Testament. It says, For indeed Christ, our Passover was sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the feast. This is the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus. We're going to take communion today and you're going to be delivered from things that you didn't even know was keeping you in bondage. You've been trying. Everybody's making a success out of their lives and you've been trying and you've been twice working twice as hard, but it feels like you're not make, making any progress. Nothing's happening. There's things that's limiting you and keeping you in bondage. That's not, it's not God. It's not God. It's not God. <laughs> Things are keeping you in bondage today. The Lord says that you're being delivered. We're praying in tongues, praying in tongues. So we're going to keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Fangala Rabba Sheketi, Hebrews 2 verse 15. And release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. God says, remember that you have been released from the fear of death. That you are no longer subject to bondage. You might have been all your life subject to bondage, but today we enforce the finished work of the cross of Calvary. That's what we do when we pray in tongues. Tongues is nothing more than describing the victory of the finished work of the cross over your situation by the Spirit of God. You pray the perfect prayer. And today we ask your Holy Spirit to help us to pray in tongues. Lord, concerning our freedom, our deliverance. Lord, it was for freedom that Christ has set us free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Lord, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Today we claim our freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in every area of our lives. Freedom in your marriage. You're in a marriage, but it feels like both of you are imprisoned. Feels like it's the old ball and chain. You talk, you're calling it the ball and chain. With your friends, you're talking in the pub, drinking a beer, and you're talking to your friend's husband. Saying, oh, the old ball and chain. Stop talking about that in the name of Jesus. I cancel those words and I tell you, your marriage is going to be the place of rest. You're going to come in the place of, it's not going to be a house anymore, it's going to be a home. Freedom. Freedom. Let no man judge you. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It's God who justifies. Amen. Salda Bagada, I set you free from that ball and chain mentality in Jesus' name. Whoever you are. Ragas, I don't talk, don't call your marriage that. Shalavarada Peace. Jesus loves you, man. Yeah, he sees you thought he didn't know about it. <laughs> Just joking with you, man. Hebrews 2 verse 15, Karabas second. Oh Jesus, you know the Lord has a sense of humor. I can just see somebody. They were so shocked just now when I said that. They were like, oh. it just hit them straight. <laughs> oh Jesus, you are funny. Oh God, Lord. Through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. What is the bondage? The actual bondage is fear of death. But 
we do not fear anymore because perfect love casts out all fear. Amen. 1 Peter 1 verse 18 to 19. Continue to pray in tongues, guys. Zalaba sheta bakat. Knowing that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless, aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus, of the, the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, you were not redeemed with silver and gold from your aimless conduct, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. You were redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb of God. And that settles it. You are redeemed. You are free. Lord, and the work is done. The Holy Spirit wins your heart today and He sets you free and He forgives you. He washes you clean. All footholds, all handles, all hooks, all point of entry points where that Satan has built into your life where he is using and manipulating using that to manipulate you the stronghold, the complexes, the emotions, the strongholds in your emotions the, 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 the things that you've been holding on, rejection abuse, whatever, whatever it is it's covered by the blood of Jesus today and we enforce the finished work of the cross of Calvary we're not trying to fix it it dies today in Jesus name the Lord said, as often as you come together, do this in remembrance of me. Take the body and the, this is, take it. This is my body. This is my blood. My body that was pierced for you. My blood that was shed for you. And do this in remembrance of me and declare the work's death until he comes. You proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. In other words, that part of you that deserves to be cursed, that deserves to be in prison, that deserves, that doesn't deserve freedom, that part of you that deserves to be sick, poor, cursed, that part of you, that version of you, died with Christ. That one is not, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. That's what it means to be born again. You do not owe your birth to flesh and blood or the will of man. You come through the cross. You're living in a resurrection, a resurrected life. That part of you is dead. You're not going to fix that part. Let it die. And rise up a new man today. And let me tell you, the son of righteousness is arising with healing in his wings over your life today in Jesus' name. Some people are feeling the presence of the Lord in their lives for the first time in a long time. And that demonic cloud, that oppressive cloud of confusion, that dark cloud all around you, it's gone. It's lift up your head, look and see the world and see it as if you're seeing it for the first time. And God says it's the restoration of innocence. God says the consciences that has been seared. God says that he is bringing re recovery, restoration, healing upon your conscience. And there is a restoration of innocence. And a sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. You'll be able to recognize His voice again. And His presence. You'll be able to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. And He will direct your path. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Get your communion elements ready guys. I feel a release in the Spirit. It is done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, that's such an awesome anointing today. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord just said, pray in tongues for people to be free from bondage. He said there were so many areas that people were in captivity. Um, but we're coming through the fire. Today was such a prophetic message. I would listen to this again and again and again and again. You remember that uh, uh, day before yesterday, we did the tongues for finances. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch that. Anyway, but I watch that again and again. I mean, I'm watching it and I'm praying in tongues while I'm looking at myself sitting. And it's the first time ever that I was looking at myself. Let me tell you something. I've got to confess. I never watch myself preach. Really, I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't look. I remember what the Lord told me, you know. But that one, that one, the Lord said, go and watch it. 
And when I watched it, the anointing hit me. The anointing for finances hit me. And I was, I even sowed into my own ministry. <laughs> that night I sowed 500 bucks into, into Loveborn. I looked that same night after the, the tongues for finances, I went and watched it again straight after. I watched it again and the anointing hit me and convicted me so hard that I had to sow. <laughs> it was so awesome. And I didn't have, I didn't have, uh, but I, did, I gave it. And straight after, I, in, I think it was 10 hours, 10 hours after I sowed, the Lord gave me back tenfold. Times 10, what I've, like 10 hours, I had a harvest. That was, <laughs> wow. So be obedient to what the Lord tells you. Guys, get your communion elements ready. If you want to sow a seed into Loveborn, I do have to put this. Uh, I do as the Holy Spirit tells me. There is the Love Born Bank account. That is the ministry bank account. It's evangelism. It's revival. And uh, it's the anointing of the kingdom of God. Bless you as you sow in Jesus' name. Let's partake of the communion table of the Lord. It's the Passover. And as we take today, we declare the Lord. We proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Zanda, Rabba, Kiti, Livi, Liviki, Sikiti. Lord, we remember that you have set us free on the cross of Calvary. It was the precious blood of the Lamb of God without spot or blemish or wrinkle or anything. Lord, you are perfect. You are holy. You are worthy. Lord, your blood is worthy. This fire is released upon you today. You will never be the same man. Oh, for behold, I turn you into another man, says the Lord. You will never be the same. And you look yourself in the mirror and you will recognize Jesus looking back at you. You will find your identity and you will see. You will see. You will see. The flames of fire in your own eyes. You will see it in the mirror. You will look at it. And you will say, my eyes are burning with fire. It's not your fire. It's my fire. It's my fire. It's my fire. Says the Lord. It is I. I am in you and you are in me and you are free and I am not in bondage, neither will you be in bondage. For I have set you free by my blood. Now partake of my body and drink of my blood and live in the joy of the morning. Amen. Thank you for your blood. Where would we be without you? We don't even want to think about it. Let's never think of it. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for your blood. Take the balm of Gilead. Anoint this camera lens, Father, with an oil of joy. Joy comes in the morning. This is the morning. Joy comes in the morning in the name of Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Touch of God's glory, anointing, palm of Gilead, oil of joy, comfort of holiness. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Bless you guys. Bless you. Love you guys. My dog is healed. The dog is awesome. Obi. Show my dog. Come here, Obi. Kick his own. Hey, Obi. So, he's a prayer. This is a glory dog. He likes to pray with me. This dog loves the glory. He gets very uncomfortable when I don't pray for a while. You can see he gets depressed. He's just looking, he's just sulking in the corner until I go and pray. Then he's up and about. Then he wants to 
pray, pray, pray. Amen. Bless you. Love you. I'll see you tonight, 6 p.m. Tonight, don't miss tonight. We're going to pray in tongues concerning the increase of the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. An awareness of the presence. We're going to pray about the presence in, in tongues. Thank you for praying with me in tongues. And the, this is so, so powerful. So bless you. Love you guys. Amen. Bye-bye.